Youth the Ultimate Fighter begins its 27th season this Wednesday on FS1, as a new crop of lightweights and featherweights share a roof and compete in a week's long tournament to see who gets a UFC contract in the big cash prize. As previously announced, the coaches for this season will be heavyweight champion Stipe Miasic and light heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier. The show will have yet another twist on the traditional formula, with all of the contestants being undefeated in their professional careers as per the title. Here are some quick hits on each contestant and what they bring. Island Land Shark Clark 7 0. Clark is a wily and athletic fighter with great hand speed and smart positioning on the ground. His wrestling is good, yet he seems a lot more comfortable standing. Clark also fought mostly in the Kansas slash Missouri circuit earning a decision win at Bellator 150 in 2016 his only outing for that organization. He also went 9-1 as an amateur, with a win over Chuka Willis in 2013. Joe Skeletor Gianetti 6-0, hailing from the New England scene, Gianetti went 6-0 as an amateur three submissions and two TKOs before jumping to the professional ranks in 2016. Gianetti started his career as a welterweight before dropping to 155. Generally, win-slash-loss record in the region don't always reflect the talent level overall of fighters, but it is a bit worrisome that the opposition he's faced is mostly composed of fighters that had middling 0-1, 3-3. 5 to 6 to downright abysmal 0 to 4, 3 to 9, including a then 14 to 63 JLS. No, that's not a typo. As his nickname suggests, he's got a lanky frame and long range, and can pull off some smooth submissions. John Gunther 6 to 0, fighting out of strong style fight team, it shouldn't be hard to guess what team Gunther is going to end up on. Starting as an amateur in early 2011, Gunther went 11-2 until going pro in 2014, racking up eight submission wins in the process. He's durable, and has a very come-forward pressure-based approach. Jose Martinez Jr. 4-0 Fighting out of the Ohio and western Pennsylvania area, Martinez had an 8-5 amateur record with a handful of TKO slash K. O. Wins. Two of his pro fights have ended with finishes due to strikes and he's a hard-nosed top control guy that puts everything into his shots. He's another Ohio-based fighter, so he may also end up on Team Miasic. Luis Pena 4-0, as a pro, Luis Pena has one knockout win and three submissions. As an amateur, he went 8-2 with seven submission wins. He's got decent boxing and gets creative when he gets loose in open space. Pena also has what is easily the best nickname of the bunch, Violent Bob Ross. He's already a winner in my eyes for that. Richie Smullen 3 0 1 draw, having gone 3 2 3 as an amateur, Irish fighter Richie Smullen came into the pro scene in Shinobi War in Bama, with one TKO and two leg lock finishes. He's crafty, and he's quick on the pressure once he's got the submission attempt in. Seriously. Michael Trizano 6 0. Trizano is a New York Tiger Shieldman fighter that went 6-0 as an amateur and is now 6-0 as a professional. He has a good stand-up base, but has a vicious Cho game in his arsenal. Alan Zuniga, Zuniga has been fighting since 2009, and jumped into the pro pool after only one amateur bout. He's had fights in Costa Rica, France, Brazil, and Mexico, with good submission defense and is a has a pretty thick frame for a lightweight. His most notable win is over Levy Salmaro Keane, who won the Copa Combate tournament in Cancun last November. He's got a knack for pouring on the pressure when he smells blood. Jake Achin Yellow 8 0, this one's a bit odd. Kusin Yellow is a talented European circuit fighter with very good reflexes and a mean left hand. Jay's got some good instincts to pounce at the right moment. He's a British fighter training out of Spain at a gym co-owned by former UFC talent Luke Barnett. Depending on the source, he either had a loss or a no contest against Declan Williams in 2016. It's the only fight on his record that went to a decision, but all of his other fights are a result of him finishing his opposition. It either appears to not count for some reason, or could be a miscommunication on the behalf of the sanctioning body for that event. Tyler Diamond 9 0, 
Diamond went 7-0 as an amateur with 3 TKOs, then made it to the pros to remain undefeated with 5 TKOs and 1 submission. Fighting out of Sacramento's team alpha male, Diamond's an athlete that explodes in bursts and makes great use of his leg kicks. Brad Gatona 6-0, Western Canada's Gatona has fought some tough local guys, and spent time fighting at SBG Ireland. He also went 30-0 as an amateur, all three wins being submissions. Bryce Mitchell 9-0, at the tender young age of 19, Mitchell worked his way up and earned nine submission wins in the amateur ranks. As a now 24-year-old professional.